In the late 2010s, the Chinese army started to deploy its first dedicated attack helicopter, the Z-10 attack helicopter. How good is this helicopter? How does it compare with the AH-64 Apache? Let's find out. In the 2000s, the Z-10 project was initiated. Three Z-10 prototypes were built and tested by the Chang'e aviation industry, followed by eight more prototypes and pre-production versions. The most obvious difference between the Z-10 and Apache is the size and weight. The Z-10 is a 7-ton helicopter, while the Apache is a 10-ton helicopter. The Z-10 adopts a typical Western attack helicopter configuration, but the pilot is in the front seat, while the Apache pilot is in the back seat. The two cabins are separated by bulletproof materials. When it is hit by enemy fire, only one crew member will be impacted in most cases. The Z-10 has a pair of wings that mainly act as the bases of pylons. It has a five-bladed main rotor which is very similar to a Eurocopter design. The propeller rotates in a clockwise direction. That is quite different from the Western design. The tail rotor is similar to the four-blade design of the AH-64. Like many Chinese aircraft, the engine is the biggest problem of the Z-10 prototypes. They adopted the PT-6C-76CWZ engine from Pratt & Whitney of Canada, but due to interference from the United States China can no longer obtain the engines. Fortunately, the domestically developed WZ-9 turboshaft engine has been a success. However, since the WZ-9 engine has less output, designers have to drop a lot of equipment or reduce the capacity to reduce weight. The advanced sensor suite was cut from the project. A moderate suite was chosen instead. It even impacts the armor this helicopter carries, severely reducing its survivability. Subsequently China began to improve and upgrade the WZ-9 engine, and finally the improved WZ-9C became available. This improved engine has a maximum output power of 1200 kW. After this new engine is in service, new composite armor and infrared suppression systems are added to the fuselage of the newly upgraded Z-10 attack helicopter. The new armor is added on the outside of the cockpit area, but it only covers a very limited angle. To fully address the power output problem, it is believed that the Chinese army will adopt the new WZ-10 engine, rated at 1,600 kW, and capable of reaching 2,000 kW for a short period. This is even higher than the Black Hawk helicopter's T-700 engine. With the WZ-10 engine, the Z-10 will likely evolve into a much bigger helicopter, likely reaching 8 to 9 tons, which is close to the Apache. That places the future Chinese attack helicopter in the same class as the Apache. The sensor suite of the Z-10 prototype is similar to that of the Apache. It has two independent rotating turrets, one for the pilot and the other for the gunner. It even has a similar layout to the ones on the Apache. However, due to weight reduction, the production Z-10 only has a downgraded sensor turret. But it still maintains an infrared thermal imager, a laser rangefinder and illuminator, a TV camera, and other equipment for the crew. The Z-10 has advanced avionics and a glass cockpit. The cockpit has a few large multifunction displays, an advanced flight and fire control system, and an integrated navigation and mission control system. The Z-10 crew has received at least two generations of helmet-mounted display targeting systems. The first one is quite bulky, and the second generation appears to be much more refined. The helmet can work with the sensor suite and fire control system. The pilot and gunner can use it to directly control the gun, rockets, and missiles. The helicopter initially has a limited self-defense suite, including electronic and optical warning devices, jammers, if devices, and flare chaff dispensers. Later, more countermeasures are added. The Z-10 has a rotating gun turret behind the sensor turret. In it there is a 23mm Chinese gas-operated gun. Due to its weight restriction, the Z-10 has a less powerful gun than the Apache or Russian gunships. The pylons can carry rockets, bombs, and missiles. The main missile weapon is the AKD-10 anti-tank missile, which is similar to the American AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile. The AKD-10 is adopted by Chinese attack helicopters and drones. Its export version is called Blue Arrow 7. This missile has semi-active laser guidance and is capable of defeating any existing main battle tank armor. The AKD-10 is powered by a solid rocket engine. Its export version has a range of 7,000 meters, a diameter of 170 millimeters, weighs 46 kilograms, and can penetrate 1,400 millimeters of steel armor. It can defeat explosive reaction armor. This missile is designed to be launched from a much higher altitude than a helicopter typically flies. That avoids a problem the Hellfire missile has, it requires a drone 
to drop down to a lower altitude to launch. This type of missile has been deployed on the Z-10 and Z-19 attack helicopters, and it has also been the main weapon of Chinese combat drones. The AKD-9 missile was simultaneously developed for the much lighter Z-19 attack helicopter. It is a scaled-down version of the AKD-10. The Tianyin-90 short-range air-to-air missiles designed for helicopters can be fired from the Z-10. This is a first in the world. The Tianyin-90 air missile has an infrared seeker and a built-in digital signal processor to defeat infrared countermeasures, giving the edge to the Z-10 in air-to-air -air combat. Because of the engine power output problem, the Z-10 project has been focusing on future development and improvement to address existing disadvantages. The export variant, the Z-10ME, has been proven to be a much better aircraft compared to the early Z-10. The Z-10 did participate in the Pakistani attack helicopter competition, but lost to the Turkish T-129. The Pakistani Army also operates the American AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters. The Pakistani Defense Ministry is concerned about the Z-10 engine output issue and has chosen the T-129. However, the U.S. has banned the export of its technology on the T-129 to Pakistan, leaving the Pakistani Army no choice but to consider the upgraded Z-10ME. The engines of the Z-10ME have been upgraded to the improved WZ-9 turboshaft with greatly increased output. The flight performance at high altitude is much better and can carry more equipment and weapons. The exhaust is changed to point upwards, which can reduce exhaust temperature and thermal signal. Additional armor can be installed. Upgraded missile alert sensors, countermeasures, electronic warfare systems, and other equipment are added. In addition, the Z-10ME also has an additional 23mm ammunition storage in the belly, which greatly increases its combat endurance. Similar designs have surfaced in upgraded Chinese Army Z-10 helicopters, making them a lot more suitable on today's battlefield. It is believed that the Chinese Army is developing the next attack helicopter, very likely an 8-10-ton aircraft that can surpass the AH-64 Apache. The Z-10 helicopter is now a key element in the newly established Chinese Army Air Assault Brigade. It will escort the Z-10, Z-8, and Z-18 utility helicopters to form the spearhead of Chinese Army Fast Reaction Force. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.